Welcome from the Lundins. We are so excited that you guys are choosing to do this alongside of us. Week one of Cherish. I believe there is more than 60 groups meeting tonight. So knowing the impact that we are making in the heavenly realms and just with yeah. investing in our That's marriage good. is really exciting. So That's awesome. we just wanted to tell you a little bit more about us and why we felt the Lord laid us on our heart to start <clears throat> this. We've been married. 16 years. You got it. 16 years. And marriage has been something. Just a breeze, right? That hasn't come easy to us. Mm -hmm. um, we both are a little bit hard-headed. And so we always say we love hard, but we fight hard. <laughs> so um, when we are coming into this study <clears throat> saying we don't have it all figured out, we mean we do not mm -hmm. have it all figured out. But we've always had a desire for a better marriage. Yeah. Yeah, so we're on the same playing field as everybody who's doing it. Yep, um, we're learning and growing right alongside any higher, of you. Or we don't know any better. We just want to be better. And I'm so glad that other people want to be better with us. Yes, and we love this chair study because um, Ryan actually found it. It was his New Year's resolution. And we loved it because when you start getting into it, they said the vows we always say to love and to cherish. And people get the love part down really well because love is commitment. Love is, a, um, what would you say? A command a, a vow mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but to cherish is like the cherry on top and I think that that's what so many couples are missing in their um, marriages that's what we were missing for a long time for sure um, you know in the beginning of the book it shows how men cherish like a vehicle you want to have or uh, for me maybe guns it might be fishing rods it could be your golf clubs um, you cherish it you clean them you, and you're supposed to do that to your wife and it's like wow Never yeah, really so that way, that way. yeah so it was like to love yeah we understand that to cherish this is going to be practical tips on how to get your marriage the best it can possibly be so we're super excited to take you along on this journey mm -hmm. we are super excited for you get to get to know each other in your groups and also i think i just wanted ryan to really speak to the men and encourage the men in this journey because sometimes <laughs> it's a little easier for us women to take charge of our marriages but it's very important for you guys to hear this yeah good job guys for signing all your wives up to this this whole thing <laughs> No, um, I'm, hey, if you did, great. Um, I did. I, 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 he did. He this, did sign this me year. Up for this. I'm like, all right, well, I'm, I'm going after it um, because it, in, in some marriages it might happen naturally, but it's a lot of work. Um, and some we all need. We need to be better um, leaders, as as in our families, it's biblical. We need to be leaders, and we need to be striving for um, better things in a, in a marriage and leading our family. So I'm like, all right, I want a better let's go and and guys i know this is probably the last thing you want to do um is sit down and read a book with your wife and it's so romantic hey she's a lot better reader than i she reads it i listen we converse about it um it takes 15 20 minutes um depending on how fast a reader you are no. um, it doesn't take that long and it opens up conversation it opens up things and communication communication is huge when since when i left 3m we're together every day. How oh, is your new job? Day. Yep. Okay, quit your job and then work right next to your spouse for the rest of the year, 365 days a year. We are learning new boundaries and it's good, but communication is going to be huge and it is key in every marriage and always will be. So um, we're learning that together. And in this, we're going to learn how, um, yeah, how to cherish our marriage. And once you learn to cherish, you really do want to be together 24 hours a day, yeah. seven days a week. It, it is mind-boggling, but I will say what you put into this is what you get out of it. So yeah. men, so guys, go in with an open mind. Yeah, it'll go, it'll be better, and it'll be, you're, you're just investing in your marriage and in your spouse. And that should speak volumes. And your spouse, women, you're not off the hook either. You will find a way to in turn... Um, cherish, uh, cherish us. We need to be cherished just as well as you guys. And it's cool how that book it goes both ways. And and it looks different. It looks different for every couple. It looks different mm -hmm. for the genders. It looks different in every marriage. So um, that's where the communication really comes into play. And that's where we're excited to have all these couples together to just learn and grow together to encourage each other and to really fight for a better marriage. We live in a culture that wants to tear marriage down mm -hmm. and apart. And mm -hmm. we are trying to create a culture that lifts marriage up and really yeah. um, works to honor and glorify that because that's God's desire for us. So yeah. 
So welcome week one. We've got seven more weeks together as you journey through the first two weeks of your book. Our challenge for you, we wanna have a challenge every week. Our challenge for you this week is to really pray mm -hmm. every day together with your spouse. Yeah, we are not the best at that. No, sometimes you're too tired or you're looking on your phone. Set your phone down for a minute and just, it doesn't have to be a 15 minute prayer. God just wants to hear you, you know, just talk to him. When it creates vulnerability with you and your spouse, mm -hmm. it opens up communication and it also just breaks down barriers and walls. Um, it is a very intimate thing. So even if it feels weird, even if it's awkward, mm -hmm. our challenge is to just try and spend at least one minute together. Pray for your family, pray for mm -hmm. your marriage, pray for your kids, kids you pray, pray over your house. Just, it doesn't have to be anything amazing. So with that being said, we are going to just open this up in prayer as you go into your groups and start your journey. So dear Lord, we thank you so much for all of these people joining us. We just thank you for those who are choosing to go and make disciples. God, we just pray that we can raise up some major kingdom warriors, God, that we can strengthen families, which in turn will strengthen, um, strengthen marriages, which in turn mm -hmm. will strengthen families, which will create um, just a different culture. God, we just pray that we just press into what you have laid on our hearts, that you would work a mighty way in every single one of these marriages, that you would show up and that they, everyone would feel your presence, God. And we mm -hmm. just lay this at your feet and just ask you to bless it, God, and to bless these marriages. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.